so I wasn't expecting to make this, but this is the thrift store today. It is 25 cents. So your girl is about to indulge. So the first thing I see is this size small. If anything, I'm thinking of like a skirt dress. Well, I guess it is a dress. Hmm. We'll have to see. I guess some of the things I'm looking for are going to be maxi dresses or maxi skirts, jeans. I don't really need any jackets, but if jackets call my name, I'll be interested. I don't really need t-shirts, but I think I'm more looking for like maxi length. So and maybe some, I don't really need bras because hopefully tomorrow I'll be a whole new bra size. So, and maybe some comfy pajamas. I got these from here, they're Calvin Klein and they're really nice so when i shop i literally touch every single item on the rack that's why it takes me so long to shop so and for 25 cents i want to see everything even though i probably shouldn't there is another thrift store right down the road where today they're doing 50 cents so i may stop by there too but they have some nice clothes so a lot of them aren't my style but hey you can make it into your style if anything and like a good place to buy fabrics also these are more like baby doll dresses they used to be really big wondering if I want this one look inside okay it's not double layered this one's thinking about this is my keep pile that's my thinking about And I hope I brought cash. So I was looking and tell me why at the thrift store for 25 cents, there's a Burberry London dress. Here's just the, it's not really my style, but for Burberry, I literally was just listening about a podcast where they were talking about it and 25 cents I gotta try and see if I can make it my style at least so I would show you more of the stuff I got but I don't want to ruin it for the try on portion but I found a dress that has like a built in uh, flannel or just a little <laughs> well it's not on the back it's just the front and it gives me such retro vibes and it's like long and maxi I don't know what my hair is, <laughs> but I'm here at nine. I would also say don't sleep on the lingerie section. I already found one that's beautiful. It's not even lingerie really, it's more like sleeping, but I'm gonna wear it anyways. Look what I just found. This brought back so many memories. Oh my goodness. The tail's supposed to flop. I'm looking at the mouth and see that there's like a place for batteries, but I don't know if it'll work. But even still, such good memories from looking at this. I need to get it, even if it doesn't work. I love it. My heart just got shattered. I was told they're no longer doing 25 cents. It's whatever's on the tag. And my cart just dwindled down so much. Ugh, I'm so sad. The one next door I believe is still 50 cents, but it's just like that took the whole wind out of my sails. I'm so sad that it's not 25 cents today.
R.I.P. So that was such a sad experience. I ended up spending $37 and something cents. Uh, I was so sad. And I was gonna like count it and check it and everything, but uh, I think I shall. Cause I'm like, there's no way that was $37. <laughs> their calculations were correct. It came out to be $37.62. I am just so sad that they're no longer doing 25 cents. I feel like I was played. <laughs> On my day off, I woke up and got here at nine when they Previously, were 25 cents opened from 9 to 11. And I asked them, one of the sales uh, people in there, I asked them, do y'all close at 11 or is it 1? And she said, 7. And I was just like, um, is everything 25 cents? And she said, no, it's what's on the tag. <laughs> <laughs> So freaking sad. Uh, I don't know <clears throat> if I can go here anymore. Like, yeah, it's cheaper than um, Goodwill, but I don't really need clothes. And if I do, I want them brand spanking new and preferably cheap, like Romwe. That's why I like Romwe. Romwe. It's very fairly priced, cheap, brand new. <clears throat> Even though it's fast fashion, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so, I ain't gonna leave my house. But I am glad I did go because I found that fish. And that one was six dollars and something cents. And I just had to get it. That was probably my most expensive purchase here. But, mm. So sad. I really, literally can't stop getting sad about it. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. I may do a little haul at the end to show everything, but we shall see. Greetings. We are now at the try on portion and the little haul show off now of the video. So I guess I'll go in order of just knickknacks and then clothing. So the first thing I got is gonna be for my younger brother. Uh, this is gonna house where I put his uh, birthday presents. So his birthday's tomorrow. So I got this for him. It was 95 cents. I got this for my dad for Christmas along with some other stuff that I already got, but I thought it was really cool. We have a photo uh, that I'll put in here. I need to first find it and print it first, so that'll be a hard one. But I got this for him. It's a shadow box, I believe is what they call it. And this was $3.43. And now this one was my absolute freaking favorite. This is a robotic fish where it like slaps and talks. I don't know what it says. You can see at the front here, he has a space for batteries, but there's no actual like back to it. So I wonder how I'll actually be doing that. I don't know, but just for the looks, I thought it was really cool to have. Reminds me of my grandfather. And he's still alive though, but I just swear he had one of these and going places with my grandparents to like the golf course and the golf club that they went to and were part of, they had these everywhere. So this just reminds me of my grandparents. It was $6.40 or $6.96 from Sam Electronics. Really cool. 
Next, I got this. I kind of regret my decision of getting this. Uh, this is like a canopy that goes over something. I have a seat over here in my living room that I was thinking about putting it over, but I just don't know if that's the vibe for my living room because it'd be blocking a light that I have over there. So I think maybe if I just don't know if that's a vibe. It was a cool thought. I would have much preferred to pay 25 cents for this, but for a dollar and 49 cents. I would like to try to find something to do with it, but I don't think I have any place for it currently. And then the last thing I got was for presents. This was 65 cents, just a baggie of bows. Hopefully they're not used, but if anything, I can just use scotch tape to attach it. All right, so now we are gonna get into clothing. So this is gonna be my first actual trying to film a clothing haul. So I shall be back. So these are the only pants I got today. When I saw them, I felt <laughs> they just called my name for some reason. They're not doing me any justice on the behind area, but that's also because I don't have a nice fat booty. But I really like it. They are long enough and they're not high waters on me. So that is a plus and checkmate. But I do love these. These are from Liz Claiborne. I believe they're a size small or something, but I just really love it. It reminds me of a quilted uh, furniture from like the 80s, but I love it. Even though it does nothing for my figure, just, I just, for some reason, I can't wear skinny jeans anymore, especially working. And they fit my torso pretty good. They're probably a little, uh, a little bit snug up here at the top waistband, but I like the fit. It fits me proper. I don't have to wear a belt or cinch it in at all. So I like it. So these are the only pair of pants I got. The rest are dresses. And I also forgot to show this. This was $1.91. This was wrapped in these pants. So just have it to decorate my house. So at this thrift store, they unfortunately did not have a dressing room. So Paying 25 cents for something you can't try on, valid. I'll pay 25 cents. But when you're paying more than 25 cents, it kind of just sucks not being able to try on anything. So this was $1.99. And if anything, I was gonna look for something so I could cinch in, but I do like how flowy it is. It is tie-dye. So it also has an area here where you can lace it up. And I was thinking of maybe like getting a chain to lace it and be a little punky in it too. But I was looking at the other dress that I showed in the video probably, and it was a blue version of this and the tie dye was rainbow. So I was really wanting that one, but it had stains on the front and it was $2 more than this one. So, for 25 cents, I would have snagged that bad boy like nothing, but uh, I'm still so sad <laughs> that it was more than 25 cents. I would have gone so ham. I probably would have spent $20 there with 25 cents, but I have a whole Romwe haul I need to film, hopefully today. But I'm like, I already have clothes I haven't taken out and used so i need to be careful especially if you're buying used clothes for over like two dollars i get guess it's better than goodwill where their like starting prices now are like five but that's why i don't go to goodwill anymore and i was trying to support my local business but they raised that shit 
And I was wondering why it was not as crowded as it usually was. When I got there, it was only like me and four other people. If only what I would have known. So this was $2.99. I didn't realize how tight it would be on me as I have a little, a little bump. But it does fit my boobs nicely. I wonder how it'll fit after my procedure tomorrow, fingers crossed. But I really like this. If anything, I was looking at it more for the length as I can wear my platform boots that go up pretty high. And I can wear like a t-shirt or a sweater over it. So I really like this. It is silk. I think everyone should go look at the lingerie section or the nighttime, sexy nighttime section. But I really like this. I was a bit worried it wouldn't fit, but I think I did a good job. So I guess the pants, I would rate a 6 out of 10. It didn't really do anything for the butt. Don't really need any pants, but I just had to. I don't know. I'm addicted. And then the previous dress, I would rate that an 8. Uh, I really like it. It's just not as fitting up at the chest that I'd like, but still it's more of a baby doll, a bohemian dress. This I would rate a 9 out of 10. I am a little ex not so happy with how it fits on my stomach, but that's more of a me problem and not the dress problem. But I like and I was debating on taking it because I was really worried about the boobage and how it would look there. But I think it should support my uh, boobs that I will get also. So, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I was kind of expecting it not to be as baggy as it was, as it is. Uh, this was three dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, let's just say, not the vibe I'm really looking for. I would kind of like it to be cinched, just like. And maybe I could do something with that to make it tighter and look more flattering on myself. But I loved the color, the silk, but for $3.49, it was a shot in the dark, and I got their foot, I didn't get their heart, so I don't know how I feel, but I do love the color. The color is beautiful, and it is very soft, and if anything, I love the lace as well. So, work appropriate, I'd say. <laughs> I would wear this work. And I also could try to see about adding a belt to it, too, just to cinch in. Alrighty, we have two more dresses, so. Alrighty, so this dress is more of the baby doll dress. And I was thinking more for after when I get my boobs done because I would love a deep V. It also has a peekaboo back. Uh, that's beautiful as well. I don't, I, yeah, it is a tie in the back. This was $1.29. So why not cop? I thought this was really cute. And will I plan on wearing a bra? No. But I think it's really pretty. And for $1.29, I'll succumb. But yeah, just a basic. I like that more. And just like a pajama, too. Like, I think you should get some sexy clothes. And that's the thing, I've been kind of lacking on that, wearing like sexy clothes that are more comfortable. I've just been wearing more of my 
comfy clothes and I, I kind of regret that because I used to go full out on my clothing but and even this with like a belt I think would be really cute I love this look and I could wear like fishnets love it so here is the last and final piece this is fucking like 70, 80 vibes for me. It has built-in shoulder pads. Of course, those can be removed, but I feel like it may take away from the vibe. It also has these buttons that are removable, but you can't take off the actual jacket. As you can see, it's not all the way to the back and it's not removable, but I feel like if it was, people would remove it at the thrift store. But I really like this. And also the back allows you to cinch in tighter. So technically I could tie it like this to have a more sexy silhouette, but I just love it. I had to get it. I had to. I, shit, how much was this? Um, I think it's a dollar twenty nine or a dollar seventy nine, but I think it's so nice. And the buttons for this as well are just beautiful. So I really love the vibe. It's it's giving, and plus it's currently missing a button here, or I guess two. It's missing two buttons because it could just be a further button down. But I do love the little, the little cut. I think it's more of a vibe that way. But yeah, I love it. So all of that, oh, I guess the last thing I haven't shown yet is I did get two of these. These are probably like two to three pounds. But I have some eight pound ones. I think they may be like two to four five pounds. I'm so bad with like weight, but I bought two of these for a dollar ninety one. So that is my entire haul. Thank you for watching. For some reason I was on a dress kick today. I just it was such a vibe today. So I feel so weird with my freaking <laughs> reflection in the mirror. I hate that. Sorry about it. But Thanks for watching. This is my channel. I don't fucking know. I guess my favorite pieces would have to be my fish and this dress. Even though I kind of am hating on my body about it a little bit, but the thing is, is like, if you're not gonna fix yourself and work out and like change your diet, then you just need to get over it and love yourself and appreciate what you do have and bring to the table. So these are my favorites. And I guess for the thumbnail, because I always suck at taking thumbnails, or I always forget. I don't know if you can even see that. Uh, sorry guys. We'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. This is my channel. I don't fucking know. And I, even though I was pretty disappointed in the pricing going back up to the normal, so happy I was able to go. Just, I guess I'm glad I woke up in the morning and chose to get out and do something. So, thanks for watching. If you can and this comes out before, wish me luck for my procedure tomorrow. I am really hoping everything goes good and that it actually gets set. So, thanks. This is Nikki. This is my channel. I don't fucking know. Thank you, Uglies.